good afternoon there everyone welcome back to my channel today we've got great conditions uh for the bass so yeah what better way than to go and chuck a few lures guys and see if we can nail a few so we've come down to the north uh, side of guernsey this afternoon light overcast uh, conditions you can see we've had rain all morning so uh, yeah it's finally cleared up now so yeah go and chuck a lure for an hour or so and see if we can get a few so yeah if you've come to the video guys if you're new around here subscribe so you don't miss any videos there'll be a lot coming up on the channel in the uh, near future and remember to smash that like button guys so i know that you like the videos and uh yeah we'll see you down the mark guys and i'll show you the kind of area we're going to be fishing let's do this well guys if you're a keen bass angler you'll definitely uh like this kind of mark full of boulders weed shallow gullies there's got to be a bass in here let's get those shiners so we have right down to the destination now we're going to start the session guys I'm going to quickly run you through what we're going to be using for the bass fishing today ever so simple if you want to get into lure fishing all we got we got a pen pursuit uh 2500 size reel it's got 20 pound uh braid in it braids are uh, very good for lure fishing you feel every little knock if you touch a rock you feel if you get uh a touch from a fish you know it as well so yeah i'd always go for braid when i'm uh, lure fishing I'm using my good old uh, savage gear sgs2 7 foot uh 15 to a 45 gram rod nice and uh, lightweight for carrying across the rocks and uh yeah cast like a beauty even though it's only seven foot so we're going to start off today guys it's really shallow ground we've got an incoming tide this afternoon tides have cut off about an hour and a half only uh nip tides uh if it's 7.7 .7 tide they're gradually getting bigger so uh yeah we're going to start off probably with the uh pachinko frosty surface though this is skips along the surface throwing plumes of water and mr basil can't resist but then as the tide comes up guys we probably will change over to the good old uh, sidewinder scary seal this thing never fails to catch normally so uh, yeah, let's get over on the rocks guys and let's uh, put these lures to the test. Happy days. Right, let's get the session on the road guys. Let's see if we can nail a bazza. I fish this mark quite a lot. Early morning normally. But uh, yeah, like I say, perfect ground, bouldery, weedy, snaggy. The bass love it when it's like that. All we're doing with the surf slur guys, slowest retrieve and just getting that lure moving by twitching the end of the rod guys. You don't want to spin too fast with the surface there. You want it to look like an injured uh, bait fish. And hopefully Mr. Basil comes in now, yeah. I say good conditions as well, quite overcast. Just got to hope there's a fish in here. As that tide comes up, uh, I'll get a lot more confidence. But yeah, like I say, that's the lure we're using, guys. It never fails normally. Wow, guys, fish on. That came out of nowhere. Wow. Uh, that was an incredible take. Been down there, guys. That's on the frosty uh, pachinko. Beautiful. <laughs> I was daydreaming and boom. Only a tiny little basil, poppy, but we'll take it. There we go, guys. Get us some safe ground. And we'll get him off the hook and get you a better show. Beautiful. Yeah, what a start that is, guys. Only a poppy little bass. Is he nailed that pachinko? Oh, not far for size of the lure, guys. There we are. Frosty pachinko never fails. I was half asleep, he came out. No, I see him bolt off behind the, uh, the lure and absolutely nail it. Check out the patterns on that bass, guys. Only probably about half a pound, but uh, yeah, what a uh, start. Five minutes into the session, and uh, yeah, a lovely little basil. Yeah, we're gonna pop him back, guys. Hopefully, get a bit of underwater footage about going away and see if we get a bigger one. That's a great start. I'm well, happy, huh? Check out the gold on the uh, flanks of that fish, guys. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. Look, hey guys, you know, this bass reviving for a couple of seconds. Check out how lovely that basil is there. That is absolutely stunning. So, it's gonna get him revived, guys. Get the uh, GoPro. I'm gonna try and get him uh, to go underwater. But look at that. That's stunning.
Well, I'm pretty chuffed with that, guys. I'd say five minutes using the Frosty. Last an hour, just beyond the heads there. I can see his uh, fin coming out of the water and he absolutely nailed it. There's one bass in here. I'd expect there to be more. This area is really normally good. I'd say nice, slow retrieve, guys. Even stop the lure sometimes. And the bass will absolutely nail you. Nice, so we get a couple more. As that tide floods in here, it's a very, very good area for the basils. It really is. We'll give you a show after, guys, on the water, uh, what the kind of ground is we're fishing close up. Quite a few goldfish on the uh, surface as well, jumping now. You can get one five pound, that'd be nice. Well, a bass at the end of the day is a bass. So with your trees, guys, speed up, slow down. Try and find the rhythm what the fish are at. That's what you're after. I'm chirping. So guys, got a big inquiry there. Massive, big swell behind the lure. Casting quite a distance here. He went, he had a go at the lure and dropped her. See if he'll come back. By the size of the swell behind the lure, that was a decent bass. Oh, I got the old heart racing. <laughs> I have a few more casts of this lure and then I'm gonna just uh, try a soft plastic dive in there just to see. Because before long, I'm gonna be cut off on this rock, I'm gonna have to move. Try one more big, big long range cast. Come on, you basil. That's so I was trying to, I was faffing around with the trying to get uh, the camera to turn on. I didn't set the hook properly. My fault. <laughs> right, I'm gonna quick change the lure, guys. Cause uh, yeah, I just wanna see if there's anything to look that little bit deeper. That's, that's a nice bass, that one off the uh, top before, that's for sure. I was gonna give on, I was gonna chuck on those Savage Gear eel on. Nice lead head, gets down deep. I'm gonna have probably a maximum of five casts here. I'm gonna have to move. So uh, yeah, get this clipped on. Let's see if we can nail something. So we moved location now, guys. I was getting cut off at the other mark. We changed back over to the uh, Frosty Pachinko. But it's gonna be again, a few chocks here. And then move again, so that tide comes up so quick. You gotta have your wits about you when the tides come up, especially on the north side of Guernsey, it races up. Got a nice little bit of a chop coming to the water now, which is good. I see you want that little bit of movement. Hey, for Mr. Basil comes and absolutely nails the lair. That's what the bass love, guys. That like white wash you can see there. They love that. Exactly the same kind of area, full of boulders, weed. Bass paradise. If we get one more, that would be nice. So I love with the surface though, when you see a bass come up beyond the lower nail there, there's no better feeling, that's for sure.
Right guys, we're having a few more trucks and then we're going to call it a day. It's gone pretty slow since having those, uh, that bass and those, uh, well, that one big bass behind the lure. And one, I think it was garfish behind the lure after that. But uh, yeah, since then it's gone pretty slow. I almost wish I'd stayed over the other side, but got a bit of drizzle coming in now and I've got no uh, equipment to keep my camera dry. So yeah, now a couple more casts. If we're going, if I'll let you know. If not, we'll uh, see you in the outro, guys. So guys, that's going to do it for another episode. Uh, yeah, fun little trip out today, guys. Just that one little basil. I just had a one big swallow beyond the alert. And I was trying to turn the camera on. I didn't set the hook properly, but that's my fault. It goes out sometimes. But uh, yeah, see the rain is uh, on its way in again behind me. But uh, yeah, I'll be coming to this mark again, guys, uh, really soon. Probably over the weekend, I think. Come here early morning as, uh, yeah, lights are uh, showing. And I reckon could do pretty well here, to be honest. So uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it, guys. If you have, if you hit the like button. Uh, if you enjoyed this one, show the appreciation, that'd be quality. And uh, yeah, if you're near around here, if you want to see more of these uh, videos, uh, hopefully more fish <laughs> next time. But uh, yeah, subscribe and uh, share the channel, guys. And uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one, guys. Cheers for tuning in. Have a great week and we'll see you soon.